Bahia Principe Grand Tulum all-inclusive resort, newly renovated. Welcome to Best Luxury Stays, your travel guide for luxury resorts and hotels around the world. If you're interested in finding the best luxury resorts and hotels for your holiday, this is the place for you. In today's video, we'll take a look at Bahia Principe Grand Tulum all-inclusive resort. Watch until the end to find out if you'd like to visit this hotel and don't miss out on anything. Let's get into it. The Grand Bahia Principe Tulum is the second largest property in a four resort complex. It's ideal for friends and couples who want a basic all-inclusive experience and a beautiful stretch of beach. About halfway between Akumal Beach and Tulum, Highway 307 becomes flanked with the Grand Wa entrance gates to both the Grand Bahia Riviera Golf Course and Club and the Bahia Principe Resorts entrance. Cancun Airport is a straight shot north and takes just over an hour to reach, while Playa del Carmen can be reached in just under 40 minutes. Akumal's beach center and Turtlefield waters are just a short 10 minute drive up the road and can be reached by cab or colectivo. Explore, Exelha and Excaret are located along the highway between Acumal and Playa del Carmen. Those who enjoy pools will find there are three separate lake-style pools on site. All three are close to the beach with easy transition between pool and beach. The large main pool located mid-resort includes a swim-up bar, shallower children's section and daytime activities, while the smaller pool with its built-in jacuzzi is located further south and geared more towards those who like to nap or read while poolside. The third pool is also on the small side and dedicated for Club Hacienda guests. This pool is located by the Club Hacienda Villas on the far north side of the property. Although the smaller pools do not have a swim-up bar, they do have their own bar, lounges and shade palapas. Before we continue, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss out on any luxury recommendations. To rooms. On the whole, the 978 rooms are simple but comfortable spaces with private outdoor space, basic marble tile floors, pale yellow walls, blue and white fabrics and cream painted colonial style wooden furniture that's slightly dated. Decor is the same that is found in the luxury Bahia Principe Akumal Resort but rooms lack the luxury Bahia's extra amenities which include butler service and a 24-hour room service. Sitting areas include simply fashioned couches and a small table and chairs set up in front of a glass sliding doors to the room's private outdoor space. A long glass top desk hides the minibar and is the resting spot for the flat screen TV, ice bucket and coffee maker. Marble bathrooms are a standard size and feature hair dryers and makeup mirrors, plus basic toiletries like shampoo, soap and body lotion. The entry-level superior rooms only lack the hydro massage tubs and couch sitting area found in the junior suite superiors, while the rooms in the club hacienda level get extra amenities such as free Wi-Fi in the clubhouse, bathrobes and slippers and extra a la carte dining reservations. Dining options here are stunning. Tulum's main buffet restaurant, Yakutan, serves up international fare for breakfast, lunch and dinner, with special themed cuisine nightly during dinner service. If you have a hankering for a specific type of food, you can check out one of the three reservation required a la carte spots on site. Le Grand Toruga Rodizio, 
Brazilian steakhouse, tequila, traditional Mexican, or Don Pablo, modern cuisine. Just remember, you'll need to make advanced reservations and the guests are only allowed to dine a la carte three times per week long stay. Men are required to wear long trousers at these venues. Otherwise, you can grab a quick bite at the 24-hour buffet-style Las Olas snack bar, though guests can access facilities at sister property Grand Bahia Principe Coba, they can't access its restaurants. There's a spa on the Tulum property, but since Coba Spa was renovated in 2014, it might be worth heading over there for a swanky treatment or two. Both spas also have a beauty salon with hair and nail treatments and a small indoor gym with cardio machines, weights, and a few yoga and stretching mats. Grand Bahia Tulum delivers all of the features expected of an all-inclusive mega-resort, including daily activities like dance and exercise classes, medical service, shuttle service, and assortment of shops. Solid blue lounges in two rows are set up with private palapas. Since all resorts have access to Tulum's beach, it's a gamble whether or not it'll feel full. Family-friendly features include a Bahia Scouts Kids Club and Donsite Dolphinarium, where you can either watch a show from the sidelines or get in the water with the dolphins themselves. Guests also receive one hour of free non-motorized sports each day of their stay, so you can strap on a snorkel or paddle on the open waves. Off-site features shared across all resorts in the complex include the Riviera Maya Golf Club with 18 and 9-hole courses, plus cenotes and a jungle area. Hacienda Donna Isabel with shops, a nightclub, and live music. There's also a kids-only water park that Tulum guests can access over at the Coba property. Tulum gives guests six spots to grab a drink, alcoholic or not, including three pool bars and a patio-style beach bar. Just off the lobby, there's a circular indoor spot called Bar Akumal with a dance floor, loads of tables and chairs set up, and windows looking out over the pools. There are also coffee, tea, and cookies served here during the day. There is also a theatre bar aptly named Broadway and a bonus unofficial terrace bar that opens up on the terrace behind the lobby to serve sundowners. That brings us to the end of today's video. What's your favorite thing about this resort? Do let us know in the comments down below. Anyways, be sure to leave a like to the video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.